Hey yo, what's up guys? My name is Lappy. On today's video guys, I want to show you how you can boost the FPS on your PC. A lot of people, maybe they want to boost the FPS not only on Fortnite, so that's why I'm making this video to boost the FPS on your PC. This boost of FPS can work for any game, so that's why I'm doing choose only for your PC. I'm gonna show you some apps and some window settings that you need to have if you want good FPS. Okay, before we start to do the boost of FPS, I'm gonna show you something that you need to do before we start to doing this boost of FPS. Yes, and it's about restore point. You need to create the restore point before we continue because if something happened, uh, the configuration that I'm gonna show you or the apps that I'm gonna show you doesn't work for you and you want to have the settings back, you can only make the restore point and restore everything back. So first, if you want to know how to create the restore point, you will have the link of how to create the restore point in the description, but in this video also I'm gonna show you how you can do it. Go to the search bar and type restore point. As you can see, the best match is create a restore point, so you need to double click on it. Over here on the restore point, as you can see, this is the system properties. What you need to do to create the restore point is click on create. Now here you need to put the name of the restore point that you want, on my case will be the boost of a PS. Wait until it finish the creation of the restore point and once it create the restore point you can close and now you can continue. If something happened and you want to restore everything back, what you need to do is click on system restore. Now you need to click on choose a different restore point and click on next. Over here as you can see we have the restore point that we create today and what you need to do is only click on next, finish and as you can see we're gonna have this warning message. What you need to do is click on yes and you're gonna start restoring everything back now what you need to do is go to the link of the description where you have the website that i'm gonna use to download the boost pack that we're gonna use on this video okay as you can see this is my website i have a lot of different posts about fps resolution and input delay stuff so if you're interested on any of this you have the link of my website on the description and also you have the videos according to each post okay now what you need to do is go to the last post you're gonna have a pop-up this only adds choose close it now go into the post okay once on the post you need to scroll down and click on the download button you're gonna get directly into media file what you need to do is only download the files that we're gonna use on this video uh, so once you download the winrate you need to strike and you're gonna have this folder on this folder i have two steps up boost and window boost what you need to do first are the window boost because apps are secondary programs that can help you with the fps but we're gonna focus first on windows boost go to the folder of windows boost and as you can see i have all these steps that you need to do if you want to have good fps first of all the rest of point that we already create and then we can continue with the apps double click on apps you're gonna pop up these apps and feature settings what we're gonna do over here is something real simple disactivate or uninstall all the apps that you have that you don't use in my case like 3d beware i don't use it so i'm gonna uninstall it and what you need to do is do that for all the apps that you don't use as you can see i have a lot of different apps that usually i don't use it so i'm gonna uninstall it really quick and once i finish i'm gonna continue with the other steps Okay, I guess I finished to uninstall all the apps that I don't use. I only uninstalled the apps that I don't think I'm gonna use forever. Now, you need to go to Startups. On the Startups, as you can see, we're gonna open the Tax Manager and we're gonna have some apps over here. The startups are apps who start every time that you turn on your PC. So, we're gonna disable the apps that we don't use. On my case, like Google, I don't need that this app start every time that I turn on my PC. As you can see, I disable all the apps that I know that I'm not gonna use every time that my PC turn on. As you can see carefully, the first step is delete the log files. What you need to do on this is only open as administrator and once you run this as administrator, it's gonna start to deleting all the trash files that your PC has. As you can see, I have all of these trash files and once you finish, you need to press a key and it's gonna close automatically. Now, we need to delete the prefetch files. You need to double click on it click on continue we're gonna have a lot of different files over here so what you need to do is only delete all these files some apps will not be able to delete just leave it like that now you need to delete the temporary files remember run this as administrator wait until you delete all the temporary files and once it's finished click on any key now go to delete the windows update a key also run as administrator yes wait until we finish press any key and we can continue now we need to go to disk cleanup as you can see this is the select the disk that you want to clean press on c and as you can see we're gonna delete at least 13 gigabytes of files that we don't use so click on ok 
delete the files, wait until it finished to deleting all the trash files, now we can continue with the epic disk cleanup. When the epic disk cleanup finish, you need to go to temporary files 1 and as you can see try to delete all the files that you have on that folder, if it won't let you just click on escape, go to the temporary files 2 and do the same thing and that's all now you need to go to a recycle bin on the recycle bin if you have files please delete it because it's usually and it's really normal that you will have files on the recycle bin so please make sure you delete all the trash files that you have on the recycle bin and that's all that's all about the folder of the windows boost but we're gonna do other changes on windows that we don't need this folder so please close this folder go to the next location which is settings now go to gaming now disable the game bar go to game mode and disable the game mode go to graphic settings i'm gonna mention that you should try this option on your pc because on some pc it doesn't work in some pc it work on my case it doesn't work for me so i'm gonna have disable this option but you should try to test now we're here as you can see we have a section called graphic performance preference over here what you need to do is only a browser and find the game that you want to boost the fps on my case will be fortnite so i'm gonna go into the fortnite folder this is the fortnite folder i'm gonna put the app that i want to increase the fps now here you need to click on options and click on high performance and click on save this will try to run fortnite on high performance so every time that you open the game that you put over here you're gonna try to open with the most quantity of performance so you will have better fps now i'm gonna show you some recommendations that i will give you on your graphic card on this case will be for nvidia users because i don't have an amd graphic card what you need to do on nvidia is open the year for experience over here please try to update all the drivers that it recommend. I recently make a video about which is the best driver for NVIDIA users and as you can see every time that you update your drivers you will have better FPS. So please try to update all the drivers as you can see I have the most recent driver. So please try to update all the drivers on NVIDIA and also for AMD users try to update all the drivers. On the boost pack apps boost I have different apps that I know it can work for you. First we have the CPU, ISLC, process lasso, RAM, regular files and time resolution first of all we're gonna start with the cpu i have two apps one which is only focused on intel and other which is focused on intel and amd go to part control install part control really quick okay once you finish and install part control make sure you have the most recent driver so if you don't have updated what you need to do is only click on update available and it's gonna start updating part control was updated successful so what you need to do over here is something really simple go to this section click on based on highest performance apply once you apply go to power options show additional plans and activate the business highest performance now close the power options now click on ok and every time that your pc turn on you're gonna have power control this will activate all your cpu cores so your pc can run way too better now go to throttle stop which is the app focused on intel users if you have amd unfortunately you're not able to use this app go to uh, throttle stop over here you need to open the app click on yes as you can see this is throttle stop i strongly recommend to run this as administrator as you can see this always gonna run as administrator once you have this app over here you need to have the mode on game activate the high performance remember to have this on high performance have these three settings activated click on save and make sure this turn off is on on instead of because if you have on off the monitoring will not be working this app need to be working anytime that you turn on your pc so please pin to the tax bar and open every time that you turn on your pc if you want to have better fps on any game now we need to go to islc which is better than timer resolution but i also put timer resolution because it's more easy to set open ISLC click on yes on ISLC you need to follow step by step what I'm gonna do over here first of all you need to stop the ISLC now click on enable custom timer resolution and here we need to push the next values now over here as you can see the current timer resolution is 0 0.9973 so if I open timer resolution I'm gonna show you really quick the numbers are 997 which is the same number than this that means that timer resolution right now is bad configurated so to fix this issue you need to go to the folder of timer resolution you're gonna have this input delay fix command you need to copy the command and you need to paste on command prompt open command prompt and run this as administrator over here you need to paste all the commands 
and once you put all the commands you need to close command prompt and restart your pc and you're gonna have the time resolution right configured the current resolution will be 1.000 and when you click on maximum will be 500 now you need to go to islc polling rate over here you need to select the best for you on my case i don't usually use these settings i just leave it on 1000 but you should try every of these settings so maybe you will find the best for your pc on my case i'm gonna leave it on 1000 because i don't think it really make any difference i just leave it on 1000 if you want to test it go ahead remember you need to put the polling rate and then click on start if you don't click on start it will not work now over here on this section what you need to do is something really easy over here the list size is at least you need to put one gigabyte as you can see it's 10,024 megabytes and the free memory is lower than you need to put the next value if in your pc you have 16 gigabyte of ram you need to put the half the half of 16 is 8 so that's mean that you need to put 8000 megabytes you need to put it on free memory is lower than these values now we have right configured the islc so what you need to do is only click on a start as you can see we have an option over here call it a start islc minimize it auto start monitoring so every time that your pc run it will open automatically so just leave it like that on my case i'm gonna leave it on a start and now we can minimize or close a islc okay now we need to go to process lasso you need to double click on process lasso click on yes install it really quick okay process lasso is like the tax manager but 2.0 what you need to do over here is open the game that you want to boost the fps first of all you need to go to main and you need to click on performance mode enable now you need to run the game that you want to boost the fps on my case it will be fortnite but just to show you i'm gonna open fortnite go to activate process now you need to find fortnite again as you can see this is the game fortnite client win 64 shipping over here you need to do the next on cpu priority you need to put on always you need to put on high go again to the fortnite click on cpu affinity always and as you can see you need to have this on all the cores activated you need to go to memory priority go to always and try to put on normal now go to fortnite client again now you need to go to more and you need to have activated the disable idle saver and as you can see that's all what you need to do you can do it with other different games that's the best settings so my opinion if you want to have the performance of your pc with more focus on the game that you want to optimize if you use islc you don't need to have timer resolution but if you want it you can use it if you don't use islc i recommend to put on the touch bar and if you don't want to use the islc ISLC you can use timer resolution just only open the app and click on maximum and minimize it that's all for my case i need to close it because i have ISLC as you can see as, as i told you we have only two folders the run and the regular files for the regular files it's real simple only click one by one activate all of them and that's all regular files put the best frequency for every of these things like cpu graphic card memory network and the ram usage now we need to go to ram which is the last folder we're gonna use mc ram booster now we need to install really quick on mc ram booster you need to close the app because we need to run this app as administrator if you want that this work correctly run this app as administrator click on yes on the settings of mc ram booster you need to go to system speed up click on recommend values apply the values go to options recommend values and apply the values these settings will depend of how much ram do you have okay once you finish to set the right settings on the mc ram booster you can minimize because it will work automatically every time that you play any game so you need to have this app minimized if you want to this work so choose minimize it so let me restart my pc just let me really quick restart my pc <clears throat> okay guys so here we are i already restored my pc so this will be the test of fps i'm not pretty sure how much fps we will get hopefully we get more oh my god you see 250 fps 193 100 200 i mean it's really cool i mean i didn't focus to optimize the fps on 49 i try to focus to boost the fps only for my pc so that's mean that on the other games maybe the fps will be better and if i focus more about boost the fps only for fortnite i will get way too better fps of course and we can get better 
and actually it's not really bad as you can see 190 fps almost 200 fps it's not really bad okay guys so that's how you boost the fps for any game i mean it's not the big 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 quantity of fps on fortnite but that's because i didn't focus a lot on fortnite if you want to know how to boost the fps on fortnite i have a lot of videos but i'm gonna try to make it other different videos because of fortnite there is a lot of stuff that you need to know if you want to boost the fps but now that's all that we're gonna do in this video if you want more fps boost video for your pc i will make more videos just let me know in the comment section and i will do it so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you soon later